Right golf mates, welcome back to Scotland Untapped. I'm not going to apologise for today. Reason being, I brought you back to an old four, but I love this place, I love this area, and it's got some of the best holes in Scotland, so I wanted to show you. We brought you to Hawkman, all because I did mention it in day one. So day three, we had a great day yesterday. Yeah. We've had the drone up, we've had the great weather, crashed it again, but we're at Hawkman, so over 100 year old. It is, I'm telling you now, it's got some great holes. There's a par three where we're going to start where Paul Laurie says it's one of the best par threes in Scotland. I think it's 5,600 yards, like I said, par 68. You've done the handicaps. Right, golf mates, handicaps for today. Liam Harrison is 8.4, nine shots. And Mr Barlow is 11.4 and I get 12 shots. Let's see how we get on. So he gets 12, I get nine. All I'm going to say, golf mates, enjoy Hortman Golf Club. Well, Mr. B, if we're yeah. going to start, you start on this hole. Beautiful. Paul Laurie thinks it's his best par three in Scotland, and it's up there, isn't it? Lovely. 150 yards, wind slightly into left to right. So I think left of the pin. It's a good shot. Yeah, I'm going to hit a little eight. What are you hitting? I'm hitting seven. Uh, yeah, the ball for good. Nothing for short. Looks good. Wind's got it. Is it big enough? Or is it lovely? It's too big. Oh, no, Sit there. Shot. Oh, stay, oh, stay. I hit that beautiful and easy. Right, golf mates, it's called this hole Piersha or Porsche. You know me, I can't pronounce it. You don't no, know either. Freeze hatch. It's not called that, but it should be called spectacular. Just look at it on the side there with the drone. Absolutely beautiful. Right. Paul I've Larry. actually rolled off the green, look. Yes, that slightly. Was green a minute ago. I think you should aim left bunker over there. Right, I'll take your advice. But... Like this, wind's Get down. Is that where I were? Yeah. Is it on my ball? Oh, short. Oh, it's just on. Oh, yeah, it's just same. off. On. Is she on? on. Is she off? It's Is off. She on? Is she off? It's off. What we will know, golf mates, it's is there for nothing, as usual, shot on a par three. But you don't make the indexes. That's true. Even in Scotland, he doesn't make the indexes. Right, why are you checking that? You're not in the hole. <laughs> no, I'm just. Checking for where, which way it's leaning. No, you'll probably see with the drone. It's like a, a square green. It's like a cracker, and uh, it's quite small, isn't it? Yeah. To 150 the wind. It's a Porsche stamp, isn't it? It's, it's target golf. So I think he's uphill left to right, yeah, Mr. B. Yeah. The putting so I machine. Get it. I don't think he's hit it. Not hit it. What's wrong with that? You love me, don't you? Huh? <laughs> you love me, don't you? You on a shot? Yeah, I'll finish it. Come on a shot, yeah. It's only fair, isn't it? Thank you very much, you gentlemen. Not many of us left, you know. You're right, I am. Well Go, done, sir. Going in or out? I love it out, please. I'm about to say, it's against you. Definitely for you. Well, it's a strong part of my game, isn't it? Putting. Putting. Oh, yeah. Real Trembling. strong. <laughs> I'm trembling your putting. Right, putting for birdie. Uphill, right to left. It's not bad, but he's not hit it. He had the line as well. Ooh. I'm sorry, I love you, but it's out of the circle of love. See that? Marker. And you know what it is, that? Yeah. That Must is... mine. No, it's actually... 2p. It's a Polish kroner or something, or a Norwegian kroner. Oh, it's not worth now. <laughs> Use it as a ball marker. Come on, two put. Start the day. Solid. Well done. Thanks for the gimme, Steve. Yes. It was out the circle of love. Right. So, I love you, you don't love me. I did, but it was out the circle of love, that's what I said. I still love you, but it's out the circle of love. Oh, I don't think you love me that much. Right, scores on the doors. Three for two, Mr. Harrison, and three for three with a little sneaky shot, Mr. Barlow. 
Right, this hole is called the Warren, but we've got a nickname for it. We call it the Hillocks. Hillocks, yeah. So what you see there are not mounds, they're not hills, the Hillocks. And we got taught this by the pro here. Yeah. God, a few years ago. And this is why I don't mind coming back because I like this course. It's friendly, it's quirky, it's different. Yeah. It's got some amazing views. Today, and with Lloyd, the cameraman, and the pillock for Max, the Hillocks, it's stroke six, it's 340 yards. I'm going four, Ryan, because it's downwind. Yeah. Shot and for you. It's downwind, and if you can keep it away from a hillock, it'll yeah. run forever. Straight, yeah. Over that first hillock, with a bit it's of a draw, good shot, yeah. A bit grand. They're perfect. And that is perfect, it gets over. Yeah. And it's still bouncing. Six foot it bounced. So I think the hillocks are a bit easy on the right hand side, but I might be wrong. Lovely part of the world. There's so many golf courses round here. I think I'm popping up the map there, and this is just off my head. I reckon there's about 20 and about 15 miles. Easy. You've got Hawkman, you've got Lossymouth, Old Spare Hospital. Bay, Buck, Bucky. We found another one we forgot the name of. Forest, Forest Elgin. It goes on and on and on. Right. As usual, attack, 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 driver is out. Is it? Go on! Belter, it's drawing. Straight down the middle. That could go up green. No. It's bouncing and bouncing. Still running. It's running to them last hillocks. It's a kickover. Did you hear it? <laughs> go on! <laughs> Go on! <laughs> Over them hillocks. Gonna have to be honest with you. Have a guess what we had for tea last night? Another curry. A ruby. <laughs> <laughs> I can't help it. One thing about this golf club, what I like, and I'm gonna tell you about it, is the welcome. Now, look at this sign here. That says it all. Some golf courses, you go, and all you're met with, you can't do this, you can't wear that, you've gotta do this, do that, that and this. This one, they're just open their arms out to you and i like it right anyway i have got 145 you said mr barlow yeah downwind struck it well left kick right that's got a kick forward are you in bunker what a kick that oh, is it was lucky man and i think i could have given it the beans yes. it a bit too easy there but did. i'm on a shot chip and put happy days i just can't I told you i've lost my pitching wedge in bloody slovakia so i've got luke donald's Lashers ready, replacement European pitching wedge. Don't like it. Right, what you I've got 135 to the middle and I've got a 9 iron downhill. So, what does the uh, thing you do? He goes down the shaft a little, doesn't he? What's Stuart? What's downhill? It's straight. I mean, downwind, sorry, downwind. <laughs> Right, he's on a shot, coming back from his three points on the best par three in Scotland, Paul Laurie says. Yeah. And he's chunked it. Yeah. Don't bounce her, please don't. No, it's not, it's short. Yeah, it's well short. Legs. Stop, stop, that'll do. Well, we've not seen it this morning, golf mates, and that is the world famous Scoopy Whoopy, which is coming now. Yes, up to a the good pin. <laughs> Yeah, oh, you've not got it easy. This no, little hillock. Go over that hillock. Back this way. Over that hillock and kick it to the pin. Well, I don't know. I don't know what he's visualising here. But he's an artist. He's painting a picture. Let's see what the picture is. He's an artist. That is so oh. close to being unbelievable. It never kicks left like I thought you it had would. One dodgy bounce. That was so close to being yeah. absolutely class. Got to kick left off that hill to pin. Right, you're unlucky there, Steve. Yep, what are you seeing? Maybe putting it. Hmm. Maybe. I probably would do the same actually. Don't want to talk you into it, but. Eh? It's all uphill. I'm putting it. I think it's the club. Yeah, I think so, but it's all uphill. Sit, okay, mate. fast. Sit, sit. Oh, yeah. Oh, do you yeah. know what I've just done there? I've hit the putter. I don't, you know, if I would have hit a chip to there, you would have said to me, good chip. Yes. And if you would have hit a chip from there to there, you would have said, or I would have said, good chip. Yeah. So it and was. I'm happy with that. Good putt. What's with that? Look at them hillocks behind us. They're great features, them, aren't they? You just don't see them. 
Oh, I can't remember another course. I think they had about 10. Do you want it in a right cop? No, oh, leave it in because it looks like I'm coming in from that side. And it should just drop on the pole. The green's lovely. Don't know where he's going. Oh. Well, well, well. But it's not the hole. No, that went uh, completely different. I was sorry. Everyone's been commenting in the hidden gems. What a putter you are. Yeah. They're also commenting. I'm a good putter. Yeah, you've They've done that. They've not watched right. many Slovakia, though, have they? No, I haven't seen that. I haven't looking forward to seeing it. Right, putting for par. Oh. Use all the old. Mm. All the old. That's 360. Oh. Oh. All right, good four. Cheers. What right. are you going to do? Bogey. Putting for bogey. Ooh. Great putter, isn't it? He's a great putter. Right, scores in the whole golf mates. Four for three, Mr. Harrison, and five for two, Mr. Barlow. I love Moore and Hopman. Right, now this is my favourite par three of the course, just because I like it. It's behind, it's like one of them infinity pools. So it's par three, 135 yards to the middle, playing a bit less. It's called Nessie. Can you see Nessie out there, Stevie? Nowhere. Because it's not Loch Ness. Correct. It's a Moray Fourth, I think. Yeah, I think it is the Moray Fourth. But it might be the North Sea as well. No, this that is the inlet. North sea down That'd there. be North Sea out there. That's anyway, the it sea. should be pitching wedge, but I don't trust Luke and his pitching wedge, so I'm going to hit the smallest nine I can. Well, the wind's off to the left, so you want to be left at pin. And it's no shots, stroke no. 16. We well, have to say with a smile on your face. I Nothing took for too right. much off and come across that. Bunker. It's probably in the bunker, isn't it? Oh no, you're lucky on the green. Just wait, I'm waiting for it going in the pin now. That can't go near the pin, surely? No, I can't see it. I mean, I'm looking at that divot, I've come across that and a bit, but I was just trying to hit it so easy. But you know me, I'm full of excuses. You've got to commit. So I've got everyone water. Yeah. But I've got iron brew. You can't beat a bit of iron brew. Yeah. Girders. So what I'm drinking is Iron Brew. Locals love it, as well as Buckfast, because we're staying in Bucky. You ready? Tastes like it's made of girders. Bars pop, they used to make it. But they've got a lovely little room here at Hortman, and they've given us a local delicacy after. I'm going to tell you what you're looking forward to. No, it's not the end of this. Go on. I'm going to keep quiet. And it's got to be made with proper beef, he says. No corned beef co rubbish. Yeah, no corned beef rubbish, no. And it's a day old roast beef, isn't it, the day after. The leftovers. Oh. What have you eaten? Nine, same as you. German? Yeah. That should be good if the oh, wind yeah, gets it. Oh, yeah, we might get a zoom on this. We'll see this. Oh, it's on the green. Oh, we we'll won't see it. It's on the green. on the green. Is it a belter? Stand up, Mr. Barlow, you bitter belter. Holtman at Moray in beautiful Scotland. Yeah. High up, because I like going high. Yeah, I feel like I'm on top of the world. Hey. <laughs> I don't know where your ball's got on the back of that bunk. I don't know how you're laughing. I, never, I get a terrible <laughs> shot. I'll hold my hands up. Right, you're on the green, after all. You'll be there. My pitch mark will be just about there, won't it? On the hill. You're very bitter. I'm not bitter, I'm just saying. You can see why it's. We couldn't see yours like on the green from back there. I think when the drone were out earlier on, golf mates, it was sunny as anything. Instead of the sea being grey, it was like crystal blue. It was proper electric blue. You want to well, you know the score with birdies, don't we? Yeah, whiskey for me. And what's your preferred drink? Horlicks. But. Listen, you're a bit back at the bunker and you've ended up on the green, so. You need a bit of luck to win things, you know that. Right, putting for birdie. He's got it to the hole at least. Very good. Deep down, you know golf makes. I didn't deserve that. Take that away. Pardon? Pardon? I said take that away. I was thinking of a comment he said at Carballis. Oh, I love seeing that. It's music to me ears or something like that. You made a right weird comment, you. Yeah, you understand these uh, phrases. All right, Mr. Barlow. Oh. Short. No whiskies there. They have got no. a local whiskey. We've already been seeing having one, actually. Yeah. 
Going back to on the tea, we're talking about the food. The local delicacy is called Stovies. And the whiskey is called? Ambalo. Don't think it's Same called that, but we've had a bit anyway, and it yeah. was lovely. It's a yeah. small distillery just outside of Hopeman. Yes, correct. I don't know what gold play, to be fair. I'm... They're all good, aren't they? Yeah. Let the camera on pick. I like this hole. I think we're going to play this one here. You're going to love the name of this one, golf mates. This is a par four. Oh, stroke eight. Shot for thee and me. 378 yards. Firing into the abyss, sir. It's called Dune Hill. Or Dune. Downhill for us. Dune. Up in Hopeman in Scotland, it's Dune. Yeah, D double O N Hill. I'm going to three iron, I think. Nice and easy. You're going with driver. Yeah. I just think the longer you go, it looks like it bottlenecks in. And I fancy him paying for a meal. And you can just see top of the flight. Fancy a steak tonight. No doubt we'll have a curry. But no, not tonight. Depends who's paying. We're having something else tonight. Oh, a bit of belt. Not bad. Not I bad. say a belt. Sorry, I hit it terrible, I meant. But it'll run forever. That it cord, is. I nearly missed Carried it. Carried on. Do you know, that's two bad swings, that. I'll hold my hand up. That was a... Oh, and you've missed I'm probably underdressed today, to be honest, as you can tell the way he's dressed. I'm going to be honest. They say up in Scotland, it's a bit chilly on the willy. It's freezing. It's freezing today. It's a cold wind. Yesterday were lovely. Yeah, more sun yesterday, weren't they? Eventually. Right, I'm going with driver. Again. I've got a long way in, Steve, so you've got a, a good Ooh. one here. Oh, Steve. That's straight out middle. What's wrong with that? Oh, the shot dress, it'll just go straight. No fade, no draw, nothing. That was arrow straight. As they say in Ireland, top of the morning to you, sir, that was an absolute belter. Aye. You've got something to play for now. Come on. Boom. Right, golf mates. They were just in the gorse. They had a bad bounce. It was a bad shot anyway, so I've took my two club lengths. I am playing three. Is it? Yeah, tee shot. Penalty, play three. Not You're playing four. three. Oh, is it? Yeah, you've only teed off yeah, in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you hit four iron left. Well, they've got 204 yards in. Oh, I'm going to hit six iron. Well, he's downwind, isn't it? And, and I'm going to try and aim right at the green. It should bounce in. But he put a shot in now. I've just uh, two rubbish shots. That's a great strike, that. That's exactly where you said six iron. One bounce. It's kick Bouncing right. Now. Coming round now. It's nearly coming Up on the green. Now. On the green, near it, the pit. This it is, is the best pie you're ever going to see. What a shot that was. <laughs> <laughs> I can't see where it's finished because of that no. hillock. I saw it run down onto the green. Committed to that. That first one I didn't. That's a great I shot, that. that. He's saying great <laughs> shot, but he's eating bitter lemon or swallowing wasps. You know, that was a great shot. Oh, that's hurting you, that. Right, golf mates. Hopeman are giving away a lovely four ball. All you've got to do is comment. I want to play Hopeman. Really simple as that. Mr. Barlow's it's a bell so far have you got, Steve? 124 to the middle. I've got about 15 foot. I'm hitting pitching. And looking oh, at yours, I'm going to hit right at pin. Same again. I think he wants to be a bit right at the pin. Which this looks lovely. This gets that back. Oh yes. What about about? Right, it's coming onto the green. You can't see it. It's gone past my ball. It's back at green now. You might see it. It's gonna Has it gone off. on? Just rolled off the back of the green. A bit hey. big. Oh my dear. Unlucky. 124 yards. I know it's downwind, pitching wedge, it's gone off the back. And is it a fantastic six hang with within 14 feet? But I've only had two, and he's had three. So, golf mates, tomorrow we've got about an hour and 25 minute drive from Bucky to our last destination. We're going to make two videos there. I'll give you a little, little hint. Avermore, beautiful. God, this wind's big. That's a big pitching wedge, Stevie boy. Can't hear you with the wind. I said all, all nice things, I said. Oh, marvellous, thanks. <laughs> Your cap is all quick. That's it, it's all twisted and bent. I am, honestly, I'm frozen. I've just got this and a t-shirt on. Bloody hell. Right, Barlow. For birdie. For birdie. 
obviously we love him, but we don't Not love him that much. What? Hard uh, to judge that, we're against the wind. Here you go, here's a marker. <laughs> what the Euro fighters are about. Can I have it out, please? Of course you can. Is this going to be a groovy par? Unbelievable par if you get it. What a great second shot. Six iron. Oh, unlucky. You want to finish it? Please. Right, putting for bogey. What do you think? Go in the heather. Well done. That's your ball. Oh. It was my krona. Yeah, this is not a krona, by the way. Why? This is an old two shilling, which has got the Queen's head on the back. So if you clean that up, that might be worth a few quid. That put that on eBay, you'll get bids. It is. It's a shilling. I'll show you in a it's second. Two shillings. Two. Got that 1955. Yeah, that's from 60s. Before decimal. Before decimal. No, 60, 63 hour ball. It's gone over his head. Come on. What a par this is. A shilling. I've never seen that before. Yeah. Great par, Mr. Barlow. <laughs> Took the driver and got what you deserve. Yeah, great drive shot. Straight down the middle. Over it a pitching wedge. Off the green, two put. I'm well happy. Boom! Right, scores on the hole. Uh, four for three, Mr. Barlow. And a very good five for two, Mr. Harrison. And here's that coin. Shilling. Two column shillings. Below, he two. won't know, but why did they call them shilling? Because you had uh, shillings, sixpences, and all that in them days. No, but why were they called shillings? Help me out, old people. Shillings, shillings. Because you had so many shillings in a pound. Why did they call them shillings? 20, 20 shillings in a pound. Like, it's not how many shillings, it's why do... I want to know why was it called a shilling? Well, they have to call it something, like a penny farthing. you remember that? No, but I'm asking why. A bag. a bag. They've got a bag called a penny farthing. It's like Donald Trump, he's not answering anything. Right, last all, we was going to play the 16th, which is a par four. But I don't know if you remember a couple of years ago when we come here, they were making it into a par five. Well, that's all done. It's happening very, very soon. Just too many people on there, we couldn't get on. But we'll play on this par four. Mr. Barlow said it's a great hole. It's got a little brook in front of the green. It's a dog leg right to left. It's 400 yard called Bagley. Stroke 10. Yes, stroke 10. We all think it's thick, but it's clever, isn't it? Right, Mr. Barlow, last hole on a shot. Oh, is it an absolute belt who's drew it as well? Oh, oh you're fine. Yep. Can't see nothing. All I can see is bushy. It's that roughy uh, first cut. Oh, the green. The dark no, green. Not on the green, mate, no. The dark green. I can't see the flag from here. It's see the ones on the car park. It goes down the hill. It's oh. If it's recorded, you see where I've had an accident. Oh, well, it's yeah. like Trigger's boo, boo, broom, isn't it? Trigger's broom. How many heads? How many what? <laughs> Aye. Shot. That's where you're supposed to play the hole, isn't it? I don't know. Straight down the middle. It's come in nice, yeah. It's gone over the hill as well. But it's disappeared. Boom, shakalak. Where's the iron brew? Must be in the basement. I'll be lying. Let's get one of them whiskies. I am freezing. Right, Mr B, you got quite lucky. How far have you got? 170. Against the wind. Yeah, it's playing 190, that. What are you hitting? Rescue. It's 500 be good here. Like I said, there's a stream that might be in front of the green. Is it a career best? Still on green. It's just drawing now. It's going to go yeah, left still bunker. That's going to get a bit... Ooh, she's on. Just. She's just creeped just. on, and that's me on my tiptoes. That's a lot of wind, that. Just wrong. You, know, you don't know this. I think you've gone over... The ditch. The ditch. Good. By about six foot. Well, you go over two inches, it's over, innit? So it doesn't really matter, as long as it's over. <laughs> can be two inches, can be a foot. Six he's right, yards. He's right, he's right. All right, golf mates, how far? 155 against the wind. So it's 150. I think it's playing about 180. It's not for short. Maybe. Because he's pulled his left, he's actually cut the corner loads. I have a belter there. And I'm gonna have, I'm gonna go six iron. I think there's just nothing for sure. I think it's too much that. Well, but mate. you did it's a good six iron on the previous hole. Clean two. And he's hit it well again, but oh, right. Gone right. As a bunker. Might even be right at that. 
No That's bounce. That's the first fast swing, but I have swung a couple of barons today. And all I'm going to say, I don't care. Because part of me feels like I've not dressed and I've got an excuse for everything. And today's excuse is this. I might get beaten by the better man. Oh, that hurt. That hurt. Right then, Mr. Harrison, what were you saying about me two inches over the ditch? No, I forget. I think well, I was two inches, wasn't well, it? Look he's got, mate. It's on the green. Now, look where Liam's is. Mr. Harrison's up. Lucky, lucky lad. He must have hit this and rolled down and stopped. But uh, the greenkeeper's not cut it. Whoa! I'll tell you where I've hit it. Here, Luke. Yeah. We well, did right, push it right. Mackenzie. Cat wedge, right to left, uphill. Don't laugh at me. Then it levels. Could I go big? Hit the bank and run down. You've got a shot here, haven't you? Yeah. And I've not, have I? No, it's up 10. Good shot, is it big enough? Soft bounce. Get up to the top then. Stayed. Oh, oh. Be a bit of a swing, this one. Hang on, is that Pat can hear? Who? Sing. Pat's singing. Why? The writing's on the wall. The writing's on the wall. He's had a day out, has he? <laughs> Shot a whole Steve. Well, Mr. Barlow. Yeah, not easy to put, is it? Oh, this is a bit more. I tell you this... what, this green, there's not a flat put on it. Right. Trevor the pro, he says we won't get a birdie. We had the chances. But he's got another birdie put now, Mr. Barlow. He's given it a big hit. Oh, this is a great put, this. He's got it. Oh, I'd love to prove the pro wrong. All right, Trev. <laughs> He's done well, Trev. He's a great pro. You know, every club should have one like him. Yeah. Hospitality, second to none. Right, four for three. Oh, that's just a... Take it out for me. That's a knife in my uh, side, that. Four for three. At least it worked three for four, Pavo. Yeah, <laughs> We Nearly. don't like that one, do we? Nearly. Putting for par. Not left Where enough. Where have I gone? Not left enough. Well, at least I got it past, but yeah. that was a shocking putt, that, wasn't it? Right, put Come it on. for par. Back down. I love Hopeman. And Hopeman loves me. And it does. Well Ooh. done. Good par in the end. Yeah. That chip weren't easy. Shall we uh, let Lloyd yeah. drive and have a part of tenants? Yeah. Because it's cold and we'll be warmed up. Yeah, I'm going to have a wee dram. Right, wherever we're having tea, up. you're going to see us because we're going to do the scores on the doors. But we think, I know, who will be paying for tea. It's probably going to be me. Rag off, mates. We're having a wee tenants. Scores on the doors today? Uh, 11 points for Mr. Harrison and 13 points for me. Again, Hawkman have been great. Make sure you get in the giveaway. And honestly, if you come to these places, Spare Bay, do 18. There's nine old courses about. Don't miss them. Corps, they go and play the fours. You know, the places, they appreciate you coming. They're not the big names. They're not all like, come here, come here. Like I said in the video, if you come here, you're proper made to feel welcome. So golf mates.